In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the shuffle question order option in a Google form that you want to also have videos or pictures in and be able to ask questions about those videos or pictures. To show you what I mean, I have a form here embedded on a website and you can see I have three questions here at the top, a multiple choice, a grid, and another multiple choice. And then I have an image and a question for the image. And then finally I have a video and a question for the video. When I use the shuffle order, the qu shuffle question order option on a Google form, if I refresh this page, we'll see that the top three questions on the form shuffle the order. But at the bottom, where I want to keep the image and the question together, or the video and the question together, those questions are not shuffling. And I'm going to show you a trick on how to do that. The shuffle question order option is nice because then kids can't look off of each other's screens when they're taking a Google Form quiz. So to, in order to do that, we're going to have to add sections to our form. I've already gone ahead and started a form and I've got three questions on here. Now at the top of your form, you want to, under form settings, check shuffle question order and that will shuffle the order of the questions for each student who is taking the quiz. But in this form, I also want to have a video and then a question about the video. I want to keep that for the video and the question together. So to do that, after my questions or before, wherever I want to put this question on the form, I need to add a section. So next to add item, I'm going to hold down the arrow and I'm going to choose section header. And here I can give some explanatory text. So on this form here, I did use the video below to answer the next question. That was what I put in my section header. So we'll go ahead and enter that information. And then I'm going to click Done. And now I'm going to add my video. To do that, I'm going to go to the um, arrow next to Add Item, and I'm going to choose Video. Now with this, you can actually do a search for YouTube, but I find it's best to go out to YouTube, find the video, watch it, make sure it's appropriate, and then add it through the URL. So I have a YouTube video pulled up here. Underneath the video, I'm going to click on the Share options, and I want to share. So I'm going to go ahead and um, copy this address, Control C. I'm going to come back to my form, and I'm going to paste the URL in here. And if you get the URL correct, you should see a preview of the video right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that video. And then you can see that it's added that video to my form. Now I can put items in here, but since I've already got the directions in the section header, I'm going to leave both of these lines blank. I'm going to say done here. So use the video below to answer the next question. Here's the video. Now I need to put in another section to hold my question. So I'm going to go to the arrow. I'm going to say section header. And notice on this form, what I did was I just put question for video in the section header. So I'm going to go back to my form and I'm going to put question for video. I'm going to go ahead and say done. And now I'm going to add my question. So I'm going to do add item, multiple choice, and I will add the question related to the video. So I've gone ahead and added my question and my answer choices. I'm going to make it a required question and I'm going to click done. So let's take a look and see what the form looks like now. So we're going to do that by clicking view live form. And when we do that, it's going to show us the three multiple choice questions we had at the top, our section header, our video, a section header again, and then the question that goes to this video. If I refresh this page, we should see these questions here shuffle the order, but the question down here below this stays the same. So let's go ahead and refresh. And you can see these questions have shuffled. The video has stayed in its current position along with the question right underneath the video. So if you would like to use the shuffle question option on a Google form, but you also want to include videos in your form, you'll need to add section headers for both the video and the question for the video to keep those two things together.